Welcome to Deep Thought, the extraordinary ones. And y'all know, look, y'all know me. You know, I've always had a fascination with those who rise above the masses, who fly above the herd, the extraordinary ones. And indeed, this is connected kind of what I was talking about, powerful people in the shadows, people so powerful, so extraordinary that their very presence rises, can create whole movements, whole trends and everything that they can impact in a positive way, a profound way, the lives of others. I want you to think about that. You know, just by their very presence and, you know, they could maybe create trends or maybe they just make a difference. You know, maybe that extraordinary defense attorney keeps a lot of uh, innocent people out of prison. Or I talked about polar opposites. Maybe that extraordinary uh, prosecutor is keeping the streets safe. You know, it could be something, you know, someone who's like so good at their job. In fact, um, there's a book by Ayn Rand, I've talked about this maybe a long time ago, uh, Atlas Shrugged. And the premise of it was a man, John Galt, stopped the motor of the world, or engine motor, yeah, I know what I mean. Stop the motor, of, well, let's just say motor of the world, the engine of the world. What's the engine of the world? What keeps the world moving? Really, the extraordinary people. And in the book, John Galt had, they got reached all the extraordinary people and basically told them to go on strike, (laughs) to stop doing their work and the world fell apart. That's some powerful stuff though, if you think about it. You know, in this world, we have real life heroes. People know they don't wear a cape. You know, they don't wear a cape. You know, it could be, it could be that elderly woman that lives in a very poor neighborhood very poor neighborhood, but she is such a mother figure that even the thugs around there protect her and even try to make their lives uh, better, you know? It could, be, it could be that man who, despite not having a lot of money, said, look, I'm gonna I'm a be a father figure to these kids. I'm gonna coach them in sports. I'm gonna like make it so that they can, you know, get a better education. I'm gonna take my money and get computers and stuff. I'm gonna make a difference. It could be another man who says, I'm going to keep this, I'm going to keep this, at least this block safe and peaceful. There was a book um, I read, I can't, it was by Pearl Cleage, and I can't think of the, all, the title of the book, but it was about this guy who basically kept a 20 block area in Atlanta, according to the story, like crime free. He had total order and everything. It was some deep stuff, even um, it was a sequel to it. It had some supernatural elements in it. And I'm gonna tell you what, it's, it's, it's interesting. And speaking of supernatural, you really do on another level, this could be another video. Hey, people, everybody is a, I'll just say mundane. And indeed, I was thinking about it, cause you know how I flow on here, so just let me flow. Um, you're getting a lot of shows about um, outcasts or people with gifts or something, even supernatural gifts. You get in a lot of shows like that. And, you know, one of the things I learned is uh, when they, people in certain positions, want to introduce something to the masses, they'll use entertainment first. But that's a whole other conversation getting to that level of it. But I'm thinking just people who go beyond just living every day, people who go beyond just uh, being out here, people whose very actions, whether it's like that Nana in the neighborhood or, you know, that um, person whose business, you know, they create a business to give jobs to people in a poor area. Or even, you got some, like, I remember there was somebody who created a car wash for autistic uh, young men. Primarily young men. I ain't seen any women in the story, but they, they were probably welcome to, you know. He created, just simply created a job just to make sure they got a job. That's extraordinary. You know, people who go beyond just living out here. You know, and you know what? They're not always the most handsome or beautiful. 
not the most rich, maybe not the most popular. They might not have that charisma like crazy, you know, might be ordinary. You know, if you really look at a lot of people, male or female, who really do extraordinary things, well, they probably wouldn't get a big Instagram following or a big social media following. <laughs> but they just doing it. They just making a difference. It could be, like I said, it could be some it could be some guy living in a certain neighborhood who maybe influences a few other guys just to keep the peace. Just by their position, just by who they are. And they don't need anything, you know? How many extraordinary teachers have created um like outstanding students. And this is a story I shared before. There was, uh, when I was working in the government, uh, there was this young lady I worked with. Now, she was just working as a clerk. And she, her husband, he was just a janitor. So, you know, they didn't have like all of these riches. And I remember what she told me one time. She said she had got, received a message from the principal of her son's school. And she was very concerned, but the principal, he didn't want to say anything bad about the son. He wanted to praise her for the job she was doing. Now, last time I heard something, the kids were going to college. I think they all became professionals. Last time I heard something. Because you know how you might encounter somebody or somebody who knows somebody. And I'm thinking, wow. So two ordinary, nondescript parents raise some outstanding individuals who in turn will impact other lives. You know? And impact other lives. That's extraordinary. Anybody who goes beyond the norm, beyond. Not just living out here, but saying, look, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna impact other people's lives. You know, it could be someone who uh, goes into a homeless area, gets a property and say, OK, I'm going to create a soup kitchen right here. That's extraordinary. It's so much. It's so much. You think about it like all heroes don't have a cape. All heroes aren't like, you know, made for TV. They don't have that charisma, probably couldn't do a public speech, but they're just making a difference. It's a powerful thing. It's powerful. It's so powerful. You see it in so many places, so many areas. Like uh, at this local grocery store, I knew a, a woman there. She was extra friendly to uh, individuals who were on the spectrum, special needs, extra friendly. And she, was, she wasn't excited or like extravagant. You know, she had her own demons to fight, but she would always go out of her way to be friendlier to the friendlier to those who might not have reached that, but that was an impact. That's a powerful thing. I want y'all really think about those things, all right? So anyway, that's all I have for today. Think about the extraordinary ones in your life. Think about what you're doing in your own life that is having a positive impact on people. I want you to really think about it, all right? So anyway, that's all I have today. And y'all have a great weekend. I'll get back with y'all next week. Peace and blessings.